recently went to a new haircut place for the first time. And I don't know about the rest of you, but this is always a very nerve-wracking experience for me. But luckily, the woman put me right at peace, uh, right away, uh, by just staring at me for a while. <laughs> before finally saying, oh, basketball? To which I responded, uh, no, my name is Sammy. <laughs> oh, do I play basketball? Uh, no, no, I don't. Um, so she paused and she stared at me again for a while before finally saying, oh, why are you tall then? <laughs> and the thing is, see, some people, you know, are, you know, Surprised by that, but I understand where she was coming from because just like my being a disabled bisexual trans person, my height was a complete choice. <laughs> it was my fault. I just spent my whole childhood stretching, stretching, stretching. Oh, one day if I play my cards right, I am going to have an awkward conversation in a salon. <laughs> so I am someone who gets surred and misgendered a lot. And uh, this used to really bother me. But now I just use it as an excuse to play, ba to play games with people. Uh, and my favorite <laughs> is when someone, well, they won't ask the question they want to, but they'll try to get to it in like a roundabout way. And they'll come up to me and they'll say, excuse me, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sammy. Fuck, that doesn't help at all. <laughs> oh. I'm not trying to help you. <laughs> uh, let's see, I recently went through a breakup a couple months ago, and uh, I just started dating again. Uh, but I have a lot of, oh, thank you for the snaps. <laughs> thank you. Oh, the rest, those of you who did not snap, I'm watching you. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, it's, um, I have a lot of date anxiety. And I know I'm not alone in this, lots of people do. But uh, I think our reasons are very different <laughs> because you see, the thing I get the most anxious about is I just don't like other people seeing me eat. <laughs> oh God, it bothers me so much. I'm just convinced I'm the messiest eater in the world. <laughs> and I know this isn't true, but I can't get it out of my head. And in fact, every time I'm out to eat with someone, I'll have this little voice in the back of my head repeating the same thing over and over again. And that is, don't order soup. Don't order soup. Whatever you do, do not get soup. Uh, and uh, so since the breakup, I've been trying to um, get out of my comfort zone and uh, do new things. Like uh, recently a friend of mine took me to a BDSM event. And then the following week, I went to a D&D &D event. So I have been hanging out with two very different types of dungeon masters. And, uh, and I have come to the conclusion that what I need is a community that combines the two. <laughs> B, D, and D, S, M. Yeah, just... So, uh, you've been captured in the castle. Uh, please roll this D12 to see how hard Sammy James is going to cane you. Uh, also, please add plus five for charisma. I've been up here for a couple minutes. I think you'll all agree that's a fair assessment. <laughs> and uh, speaking of canes, uh, I actually walk with one sometimes. Uh, I have a chronic illness, and it's actually only recently that I've been walking without a cane. Um, this has been nice, um, but it's also been weird. And uh, I'm actually very self-conscious walking now, uh, because 
while I can do it, I'm very aware that whenever I do, I look like I either A, need to go to the bathroom, probably true, B, like I am going to fall over at any moment, probably true, <laughs> or C, like I am two kids trying to sneak into an R-rated movie, <laughs> not true, <laughs> but it is why I can never own a trench coat. Uh, it's not only the walking thing, uh, my illness also makes me have muscle spasms and uh, uncontrollable movements. And I, I feel self-conscious any time one of these things happens. But uh, one time, this went to a whole new level because I was in a public bathroom peeing, that's what we do in there, and my leg decided, oh, this would be the perfect time to have a muscle spasm. So powerful <laughs> that it kicked the stall door open. <laughs> yeah, my leg was wrong. <laughs> I don't know if any of you lovely people have ever yelled out loud at your own body <laughs> in a public space, but this happened and I couldn't help myself. I shouted at the top of my lungs, whoa, 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 what are you doing? We have enough reasons to feel uncomfortable in here. <laughs> It is bad enough they don't have tall people sinks. Seriously, we need tall people sinks. Somebody make tall people sinks. Uh, I am no stranger to awkward experiences in a public bathroom, which is why I think it is then completely unfair that I also have to deal with other crap, pun intended. Uh, because yeah, it stinks to be stared at, or asked if you're in the right place. But it really stinks if there then are not paper towels. And it really stinks if the person before you didn't blush. Oh, I love work life. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I've been thinking a lot lately <coughs> about younger me and uh, the childhood that I spent um, not out. And uh, like some LGBT people, there were signs. And uh, there were also some things that are just really funny coincidences. Uh, like my favorite place to play as a small child was my closet? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's incredible. The only thing that might make that a little funnier for you is uh, the amount of times that a parent shouted up the stairs at their small child, hey, come out of the closet and eat. That's funny for two reasons. The queer women understand. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna end with this. Um, I talked about dating earlier, and uh, does anyone here have a, uh, like an annoying couple in your friend group? Yeah. yeah? Oh, you answered immediately. <laughs> I'm not gonna we ask you. are the couple. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Well, you, you may or may not enjoy this joke then. Uh, so I bring this up because two of my very best friends are dating and they will not stop meowing at each other. Is this what you do? Do you meow at each other? Uh, I, I'm not gonna embarrass you any further. So they will not stop meowing at each other. And in fact, like, you can always tell when one is getting a call from the other one because they will pick the phone up and go, meow? Oh, 
so clearly what I am trying to say to all of you is I do not know an annoying couple because that shit's just adorable. <laughs> it's my time, I hope you enjoyed it.